Schools won't teach us to do taxes or any shit like that, but they'll teach us about the tree octopus. Mine taught me to do taxes. You lucky son of a bitch. Mine- yeah. Okay, I should say no, mine no, had, no. like, a three-week workshop in ninth grade of how to do taxes, and then it never touched it again. I'll admit, that's still better than most school. It is, but it still did it, it showed you how to fill out the form, and that was it. That's what you got. The most my school ever did in terms of stuff like that was, like, we we were all gathered in like the gymnasium and we were all given like uh like uh an imaginary like job like a theoretical job and we were like some of us were paired up with um people other other classmates and like we were all given a budget like dream jobs or stuff like that and we all had to like buy things that we needed to like see if we if we were well managed with our budget i i did that too most people completely fucked up and bought TVs and motorcycles before they even bought homes. It's yeah. like, fuck. People <laughs> are smart. It's like, I thought it was pretty straightforward. Need a house, need a... Oh, fuck. Need a house, a car, and a job, and then everything else comes after. Yeah. Some people aren't that smart. <laughs> High school really... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No! Also, this is like the only part of the game where this even happens. Yeah. It's like... You're just in an overworld place, like, with actual enemies that can attack you. This is the only part of the game that actually has this. It's so weird. Hey, Cassie finally gets a turn on, on the horse! Eh. Yeah. Eh. Team Cassie won. Well, just because the, she got the final blow? It's everyone's team. It's Team Cassie now. No, Cynthia! No! No! Nice. Nice! Nice ninja pose there. We don't let Cynthia suffer here. <laughs> nice, Cassie. <laughs> Good job, team. Meanwhile, Cynthia's fucking dying. We just let the enemy walk in. A huge monster you've never seen the likes of. Oh no. <laughs> Man, look at that the first the first thing we see is fucking the Sun and Moon protagonist being himself. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No wait, this isn't the one that okos you. There's a kind of imp that, like, does a one-hit kill move and it's really fucking scary. No! 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 Damn it! God damn it, Cassie's in Kingdom Hearts now. <laughs> That's not what I fucking wanted. You go in the corner now. Give your heart to darkness. She's been norded. God. Well, that's what you that's what you call people that have been Zayn ordered, right? Yes, that is what you call, say they've been ordered. That's what fans say anyway. <laughs> Wait, is that actually what fans say? Yes, that is yeah. what it is called. Oh my lord, that is so stupid. There is no actual official term for it. Yeah, there was no actual official term for it, so it was just they're norded. Fucking norded. No! Now Nova's been norted. You're now norted. <laughs> yeah, or you just say their name and just add Nort to the end. Nova Nord? Yeah. Nope. Terra Nord, Aqua Nord. I am never saying that again. Neo Nord. <laughs> Sora. No. <laughs> Sora Nord. Goofy Nord. That almost <laughs> did happen, to be fair. <laughs> Goofy Nord. <laughs> Wait, what was that one? Goofy Nord. <laughs> Donald Nord. <laughs> oh, 
don't know. I'd pay for a Mickey Nort. I want to pay for a Mickey <laughs> Nort too. That'd be funny. Oh no, Cassie, no. There we go. <laughs> oh, maybe I just say Goofy because it would always be hilarious for Goofy to be spouting evil lines with that <laughs> with that <laughs> voice. <laughs> Oh no! No! The princess has no face! And she must scream! Goodness gracious me! What were those things? What have uh, you two sacrificed your faces? Mama! I'm scared! Save me! Mama Leon, please help me! Okay, I'm, I, I don't want to go any further than that. Dark Lord Alex Yeek stole my beloved's beautiful face. I saw him heading toward Nightmare Tower. Yeah, just right over there. You, you know, just a few blocks away from the castle. Nightmare Tower. Yeah, just climb down from the castle walls and... King of all darkness resides there. It's no big deal. They're, they're friends with Bidoof. It's fine. <laughs> oh... Oh, save the princess! Oh. He, he doesn't even care that his daughter's dead. Oh. Angrily waddles. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Like, honestly, just... If you really loved her that much, just give her your face. No, if she doesn't have a face, I can eat more of her food. And she must scream. How many times am I gonna fucking reference that thing on the channel? More food for me now. Munch, munch, munch. munch. <laughs> Never even fucking read that short story, but I, I quote that so many fucking times. Or maybe I don't. I don't. It's some one of those things where I feel like I do, but I might not actually do. I don't know. You know that feeling? I'm raring to go. Isn't there a game of I have no mouth and I must scream? Yeah, I don't remember if it's like, um, probably just an adventure game or something. We should play that. Dark. It, it sounds like a weird game a long time ago, maybe. <laughs> the only reason I want to, like, even play it is because I'm interested in the, like, the story. Like, I've just seen, like, the blob with no mouth. That's all I know of that game, and I just want to... I'm just interested, you know? Is Rob dead? No, I'm here. I'm just really tired. <laughs> you want me to speed through things, Rob? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of dying. Hey, Job B. Oh, God. Job B, Rob. Guys, <laughs> look at the last three on the right. <laughs> <laughs> I love these encounters, by the way. <laughs> oh. Wow, you got magic. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you finally got your magic. But it's it's just whack. It's just a low chance to one hit kill something. Oh, is it? Oh, it's Yeah. Comet. Unfortunate. Comet wants to see Atlas. Is it just going to be the same one? Yep. It's sad to say, but I think we might have seen all the interactions with the, with the horse, barring maybe one. I don't think you have. Well, we've seen most of them if they're repeating already. Yeah, they repeat nonstop. Uh, this is really kind of disappointing because, like, I don't know. I like they when they were advertising the switch port, they advertised the horse as like the big thing you should get excited to. For, for, like, the new content, but it's kind of just, like, in terms of the interactions, like, the with the characters, there's not really that much. And it's sad to say, because horses are oh, awesome. Oh, no, watching the, watching the horse float and circle in the air is kind of sweet when you get that high up with it. <laughs> yeah, that is good. When it comes to, like, whether or not it's worth getting the Switch version over, like, the 3DS version... The way I see it, it's just $10 more for, like, one of the best character creation- One of the best character creators I've ever played in a game. Honestly. So, like, honestly, I think it's worth it. 
that just depends on like, like whether or not you see the gameplay and you think it's something you can get you can get enjoyment out of. Because honestly, the enjoyment out of this game just depends on what characters you put in. Because I put them put in my OCs, that means I get so much enjoyment out of it. So money well spent. Foreshadowing. What about Sonic Force? <laughs> Sonic forces me to spend ten dollars on his shitty game. Sonic forces, mm, yay! I've seen a lot of discussion on that game recently, like just from people I'm following on Twitter. It's just they're just in a Sonic, and I haven't played the game, but I've seen reviews of it, and people say it's really like meh. To the point where it just kind of like it's so inoffensive where it, it's just kind of bad based on that. Like yeah, it's just nothing. It, it had a really good concept. And it, then it did absolute nothing with it, so it's just whatever, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess it would be coming back up since Sonic Colors is coming out and yeah, well, the Sonic Colors prequel, whatever it is. It's port. pretty much just a port with maybe some... Is it a yeah. port? Yeah. Basically. I thought it had new material. It might I don't, have some small new I material, have no I idea. I like Sonic Colors, but it's not one of the games where I'm, like, following, like, everything on. It's so one I have of no the idea. best Sonic games. I have I know. the original, so I barely care. <laughs> yeah, I never played the original either, but it's still one of the best Sonic games. I honestly might get the fuck. I honestly might get the get the Switch port or at least a hand port because I honestly think I lost my copy of co of Colors. Whoops. <laughs> from what I saw of Sonic Forces, it takes from Sonic Generations by bringing classic guy, classic little thing back. It, classic creature. Yeah, it, it classic has classic play. Sonic in it. Horrid little classic hedgehog. Its concept it does indeed do absolutely jack squat with. Yep. <laughs> the villain is probably the most edgiest edge lord to ever edge lord. It's all intentional. <laughs> he, he's not even good. <laughs> but in that, but it isn't done well. If it, it I... sucks. I, I like like I like the giant long versions of them that's like in the city that only appear like once. The final boss literally looks like Sonic Colors. Like just <laughs> literally Sonic Colors, but they just put it in the game. <laughs> I've heard the final boss theme and I think I like that a lot. <laughs> and I could give a spoiler. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna do it. Training time! Actually, I think the spoiler is probably one of the biggest reasons people don't like the game. Oh my! Oh wow. What? They're doing push-ups! They are! It's a brother and sister getting fit with each other. Uh -huh. I guess the biggest spoilerish, like, alienating premise of Sonic Forces is the entire thing about all Sonic's old villains have teamed up and are going against a complete lie. Oh, yeah! Like, they brought back fucking Water Guy, but he, yeah. you don't even fight him. Yeah. You don't even, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, you don't even fight him, and everything else are just illusions. <laughs> At all of them you don't fight illusions. Chaos, and all the Everything's other villains alive, don't except. actually exist. Yeah. they not all... Shadow one of them? Even that Shadow is, one of, is an illusion. Yeah, that Shadow's an oh. illusion. <laughs> Look, it's Mario 64 Penguin! They put D they did put out DLC for Shadow so that you could see what he was doing. Yeah, it also shows the backstory of Ruby Guy, and yeah, it's part infinite. of the reason they're calling him the edgiest edge lord to ever edge lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if your backstory hinges on Shadow the Hedgehog, you did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what Just else was right. who else was there? Was there Metal Sonic? There was. Uh, there I think there was Metal Sonic, yeah. I think there, there was, was Metal Sonic, and there was the red and dude from Lost World. 
I was just about to say Red Guy because I forgot his name. I don't know his fucking name. I never played the game. But I, don't, lost I barely remember. I think it might start with a Z or something. I don't know. The only thing I remember about him is that Sega, for some reason, thinks everyone loves him and keep bringing him back. Yeah. Did you fight Metal Sonic? <laughs> I think you fought Metal Sonic. I think you fought Metal Sonic. I think the only ones you really fought were Metal Sonic and Guy that starts Infinite. with a Z. Oh yeah, and Infinite. <laughs> Theo, what's happening? Last night, I saw... I saw... Saw what? A ghost. My heart was beating so fast I couldn't sleep. Do you see ghosts a lot? Maybe. Why do you ask? Okay. Kind of thought that was going to lead into Cassie saying, There's a ghost right behind you! Ooh! And then Theo would jump and scream. Oh, no. Jumps off the balcony. <laughs> Zap it. He would just land on his head. It's hard enough for him to not feel any pain from it. His name, by the way, is Zavik. Ah, that's oh. just as forgettable as I thought. Yep, it's Havoc I with, just got, with a I Z. just got the pun, yeah. <laughs> what were they called again? The Deadly Zs? The Seven Zs? Six? Oh god, the personality seems so... One note and stupid. We are edgelords. Ugh. We are tough. I'm the emo guy. I'm the girl. <laughs> I'm the old master type. I'm the girl. There, there was one line I remember from Sonic Lost World. It's when it's when he found the girl, and she was like, "Can you leave? I'm try. I'm too busy painting my nails or something like that." And Sonic says, oh, "I'm sorry." Sorry, I, you do have nothing better to do with your life. Oh yeah, it's like I think damn had, Sonic. I think he was actually just go like, really? Sorry, you have anything better? Wait, to do the Black Doom was in it. I don't the, remember the villain from Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that. Can, they just toss him into Shadow Story. Maybe after I, reminding the Black Hedgehog of the last encounter, Infinite then unleashed his powers to trap Shadow. In an augmented reality. Come on, let me scroll down to where it is. Oh yeah, yeah, he did something like that. I think. I. I didn't know Black Doom was in it. Can, can I? Can I ask something about Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> what? What the fuck is up with the story? It's like. Who the fuck knows? No, like. Like, I assume people don't really care about it. Like, it's, it's like Mario, where the story doesn't really matter. It's just it's just Sonic goes to beat the bad guy, and that's it. But I keep seeing so many people, like, be enthralled. Say, like, oh, there needs to be, an, like, an important story in Sonic. Like, what? I don't get it. Is it just one of those things where people just can't decide what Sonic is even about anymore? Like, they don't even know what so they want from Sonic games anymore? Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Silva is in I this mean, game. Um, um, no, they they were they are good people and and um yes. <laughs> so, Wait, Silva's in this I, game? I forgot that. I'm partly joking. I'm part. I'm partly joking and really want to say some people are just like into like Sonic Adventure one and two and want that level of plot for some reason. But I'm also saying. Yes, the fan base is broken so bad and it's so infamous for it that people don't know what they want from Sonic. We've completely glossed over this fact, but there are inns in this nightmare tower. Yep. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it wasn't being used until like 20 minutes ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, we thought that once it wasn't used, maybe we could get some good dreams out of it. Okay, deep breaths. Princess Kakui! Rog. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Give the princess's face back! I don't think this would have 
bit, this would have been intimidating no matter who would have been picked. <laughs> Why well, it's, it's just a pink gorilla. Come on. He's part he's part of the DK crew. Well this face is mine now. I'll never give it back. Oh. He's finally back. You'll never get away with this. Oh. Wait, wait, what? Are you sure we didn't steal the prince's face instead? With all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the monkey has jiggle physics on its tits. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ah! Don't worry, Kakui, we'll slow down the frame rate! Holy shit. General Kakui. Good damage. Um. I wish that didn't take up most of her fucking MP. That did so little, damn it. Holy shit! Uh -huh. No, conserve the sprinkles. Put him in the safe spot. Ah! Oh god! <laughs> no! He's ten? What, Rub? Oh, I'm going down the sonic rabbit hole at the moment. Oh no. Oh god. Uh, Rob. Rob. Save yourself the trouble, please don't. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm at Sonic 06 already, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Sonic tried to ate Mario Party? Remember when Sonic had an RPG made by Bio- Don't remind me of that one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm at Sonic 06. Apparently, oh God, oh God, Beth oh God, oh is only 10 years old. What the fuck? Man, it's only been... It's only been 10 years? Apparently. Uh, I'm kind of stressed out right now. I guess oh, it kind of makes is, sense. Is stuff happening? Yeah, um... Big Monkey Man. Uh... No. Cassie doesn't come out of the safe spot now. <laughs> ah! No! Shit! Oh darn, bye. <gasps> Theo! No one hurts my boyfriend like that! Oh, Holy God. shit! Damn. <gasps> he did it! Thank you so much! Oh! Oh, poor Atlas. I took it down. It's okay, he's okay now. Right. Hey, what the hell, man? Oh, you've defeated one of my loyal servants. There goes my good mood. Hmm. Oh, you'll pay for this? Oh, yeah, you'll pay. What the hell, man? Dark Lord Alex Yeek fled to the east. Uh, I, I could have thought you said fled to the east. <laughs> I thought you said weast. Thank you for saving me. But this time I was worse than useless. Oh, at least the princess is safe. Let's check up on her right away. As long as you stop doing that angry wiggling. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. You don't know how good it feels to have my face back. That slowdown, holy shit. I don't remember the slowdown being this bad. You've come through for us again, it seems. The least we can do is reward you. Jesus Christ. Is there something wrong with my switch? Because I, I don't think this, this is supposed is to be like this. Real slow. Holy shit! Team Stardust is just that powerful. We're most impressed with you as well, Kakura. But, Your Majesty, truly I did nothing. Nonsense. We saw you rush up to save the princess in need of our. And in light of your noble self as dead. Well. We might see our way to allow you to a relationship with the princess. Oh, Kokoe! Oh, Kokoe! 
Oh. <laughs> Cassie. <laughs> this screenshot, like right here, this is a perfect representation of my brain. Everything is just broken. My okay. OCs. Speaking of screenshot, I just took one. <laughs> of this? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you, Rob. Terrible. I'm totally not already saving one. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, that prince could kill me. What a pathetic specimen it turned out to be. Cynthia, have them publicly executed in the name of King Bidoof. Oh, Mama! Oh, God. Oh, dear. All right. It's time to move on. Look, everyone, it's them. My babies. I know that this entire game is, like, really stupid and silly and borderline insane, but... If I can just speak seriously for a moment, I just want to say how much these characters actually mean to me. I've had ideas for a lot of these characters floating around in my head for a while, and... On a whim last year, I decided to actually draw them out and put them on paper. And it honestly felt really accomplishing to actually do that, because... There have been a lot of times where I've just been so unconfident in my art skills, and like... Sometimes I just wondered if I should even keep drawing. But... I'm really glad I managed to do something like that, because... I didn't even realize how much I'd actually end up loving these characters. I didn't draw the other three until I came across one of those monthly drawing event things in October. I found one that listed a whole bunch of prompts to draw your OCs in, and just seeing some of them gave me a huge kick to actually finish making the team. And even though some of them were rushed, because it was a daily thing of course, I'm really glad I did that because even now I'm still thinking of new scenarios for them and it's just something that makes me feel really proud because I feel like I've grown a lot as an artist, I feel like I've accomplished a lot in drawing these characters and they make me really happy. And like, now that I'm making a comic series of them, now that I have actually like feel confident enough in my skills to do something like that, and I'm having to write all these stories down at like all these character personality traits, all these stories that these characters have, and when I look at some of them, especially Atlas, I just can't help but see a bit of myself. Not like a one-to-one -one self insert, like it's not anything like that, but I'm just reminded of my own experience in life, the lessons I've learned throughout the years, the kinds of people I've met, and honestly it just makes them all the more personal to me. I'm not the first person to feel this way about their own characters. They might not be the most original things in the world, but they genuinely come from a place of love and passion, and I really do like them a lot. I know some people will call that cringe, but I don't care. I'm happy. No, I think no, I think it's nice. It's just one day I'll completely understand wanting to show, wanting to spread the love you have for character, like to to every single thing you meet. It's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know why. I, I actually applaud it, but I guess it also I guess it also is an interest it's also a confusing thing. I guess that's not bad. It makes me just really wanna know. Just the love I have for fictional characters, especially these four. They really do come from a place of genuine passion and love. I can believe that. What makes you wanna spread them is a question for me. I will figure that out as an artist. Oh, what? If you'll excuse me for a moment. Can't believe all ends can't be trusted. 